I don't want you going down to Point Lester. Michelle, Not today, of all Michelle. days. What? There could be trouble. Look, I don't want to think about Ski or any of those guys today, okay? I got much better things to think about. Like what? Like how lucky I am. What? Nothing. It's just, you know... It's not usual for guys to talk so honestly about getting married. I mean, it's a lot harder for them to express their feelings. Well, it was. Until I met you. Well, why is it different? It's like I told you before. I never expected something like this to happen. I thought this was for the other guys. And I've never believed in happy endings. Yeah, I know. I remember when you caught me when I was telling you that Romeo and Juliet ended well. You can't blame me for trying. Oh, I don't blame you. Look, they didn't have a happy end, but we will. There's another reason why I can't wait to get married. When we make love, Michelle, I'm going to make sure it is so special and that we remember it for the rest of our lives. Because I love you so much. I love you too. Oh, yes. Yes. Am I lit? You are. I'm a bower should... boy who's lit. I'm all lit, baby. We should get this off of you before you electrocute yourself. Let's put it on the tree. Come on. What a bossy girl. What bossy. made you so bossy? Uh, well, I decided to take back my life. Well, if anybody can do it, you can. And you know what? Oh, if that's right. not faith, I don't know what is. We can do anything if we can stick together. I got faith in us. Me too. Oh. I am not going to call Hart Jessup. Oh, you know what? Him over here for You're just for being sure. stubborn. And that's I'll coming from the most stubborn person I know. Well, I used to think I was until I met you. <laughs> okay, I don't blame you for not taking my suggestion up front. And I have been a little back and forth when it comes to Hart. A little bit. Okay, I've been like a yo-yo, but that was before I saw the way he looks at you. Are you going to get on this looking thing yes, again? Yes, because I'm going to tell you a story. There used to be this dog up at Cross Creek, a beautiful German shepherd. His name was uh, Attaboy. And he would look at HB's beautiful mare exactly like that. The way Hart looks at me. Yeah. This dog would look at this horse with eyes of desire. Her name was, what was her name? Sabrina. She was beautiful, but she was so wild. And every time Attaboy came anywhere near that horse, she'd take off running. This is nice. You're comparing heart to a dog, so I must be the horse? It's a parable, well, Cassie. what is the moral to this story? The moral is that I've seen the way Hart looks at his fiance, and he does not look at her like a man who wants to marry that woman. And, and besides, if they were in love, they, they would have been married by now, or they would have set a, at least set a wedding date. All I'm saying is that if you want it, go for it. I'm not going after Hart Jessen, who, and I don't care what you say, is engaged to someone else. If he, if he wants to be with me, then he can come after me. Darn it, are, do you really know so little about men? No, I know too much about men. It's the problem. I have to go to the office now. No, no, Billy, with he, Billy's gone, and Josh said he was going to take it easy on you for the next couple of days. I know, I know, days. but I promised to get the Richardson contracts out. Oh, so you bye, can message them in the, the morning. Richardson bye, contracts. Bye, 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 I want to know how you could stick by a woman who would rent an infant for a day just to impress you. She didn't rent the child, Blake. She borrowed it from one of the people that she oh, works with. That's right. I forgot. It's what is all in the WSBR family. What is that part of Donna's job description? Her duties do not exclude renting of, of personal property, uh, i.e. babies. You're so cute. But that's not how it happened. I think what Dinah did was sick. Thoughtful. Desperate. Sweet. Pathetic. Thoughtful. Thoughtful. It was thoughtful. It was thoughtful. She knows how much I want to have kids, and she's just trying to show me that she wants to have them, too. What's wrong with that? Besides, I remember you doing many crazy things 
And don't, don't even try to compare me to that conniving little... Okay. Heart, I, I realize, yes, I have I've made some questionable judgment calls in the past, but that's different. Oh, really? Yes, it's different because mostly they were because I loved Ross. Oh, and that's exactly what Dinah does. She loves me. Do you love Dinah? Of course I love Dinah. I'm going to marry Dinah, Blake. Do you want to spend the rest of your life with Dinah? And never look at another woman? Including Cassie Lane? Aha. Aha. What? I knew it. What did you know? You do like Cassie. You like her a lot. I like Cassie a lot because she's a friend. And that's it. Um, but you want more. You know, I hate to rain on your parade, Blake, but you're wrong about this. Okay? I know Dine is not a perfect person. Oh, that's the understatement. But either am I. Boy, Dinah has really done a number on you. I mean, she knows just the right buttons to push, doesn't you? <sighs> You've got Cassie. Who couldn't be more different? She has Bridget's warmth, her directness, her, her love of children. And then she's equally as gorgeous as Dinah. Now take off your blinders. Tell me who's the perfect one here. Blake. I'm, I'm just looking out for my brother, okay? I see that there's something strong here happening between you and Cassie. I'm just trying to... You're trying to be a matchmaker. No, I'm not. Okay. If you can't tell what a terrific person Cassie is. I mean, nothing I'm going to say is going to make any difference, so. I can tell. I can tell. She's a wonderful person. She's amazing. I know that. So? And? It doesn't mean we're star-crossed lovers. Hart, when you look at Dinah, do you honestly see your soulmate? I mean... Do you miss her within five minutes of her leaving you? Can you can you see the smile on her face even with your eyes closed? Because I can say yes to all those questions, plus a thousand more about Ross. And I would just feel so much better about you and Donna if you could say yes to even one of them. Oh, what lucky timing. You're just the person I wanted to see. You're talking to me. I don't really see anybody else here. Look, Dinah, I'm not in the mood, and I have a lot of work to do, so if you don't mind... Oh, don't worry, Cassie, I'm not going to keep you. <laughs> I can't vouch for any pregnant cleaning ladies, however. Well, you know what? We're fresh out. And if you're looking for Hart, he's not here either. No, I'm not. Well, you know what? It is about Hart, but it's not the way you think. <laughs> you have no idea what I think. Actually, Cassie, I am here to invite you to a party. Me. Mm-hmm. Nothing fancy. Just a little, um, party that I'm having for Hart. It's his birthday next week, so, um, having a little get-together out on the farm. I hope you can join us. Dinah, you can't stand me. So why on earth would you want to invite me to a party? All right, you're you invited me to I'm sorry, it was oh, not Meredith. a big scandal to drive the stock prices of Lewis Oil Shut down. So Alan's I'm ruined. I'm ruined. I'm ruined. Annie, you're she not. She did it to me again. She humiliated me. I am the laughing stock of the town. Now she's going to pay for what she Annie? did to me. She's going to pay for what she did to me, Ellen. I swear, when I am done with that woman, she's not going to have a breath left in her sorry little body. Annie? Let go of me. Annie, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to let you. <laughs>